Welcome to Golf Life, America's golf magazine for your golf lifestyle. Coming up, we'll bring you some dynamic golf tips from top teachers Dave Pels and Dean Rymuth, and our friends from Edwin Watts Golf help you highlight top drivers and wedges so you can play better this season and take you on a tour of great golf courses in Northern California. So let's get started with your first golf lesson from top 100 teacher Dean Rymuth. Hi, I'm Dean Reinmuth. When people come to me, mostly what they want is more distance. Now there's really only two ways to get more distance. First is more club head speed. Second is more solid contact. We're gonna work with getting more club head speed. As you swing a club back, one of the problems that people have is that they tend now to keep their right arm too close to their body. If I keep my right arm close to my body here and I try to swing fast, I only can create so much energy. If I was gonna hit my hand hard, I'd swing my arm up like this and then hit my hand. If I swing here, I have to push at it. So one of the things you'll notice is when I swing my arm up like this, it looks like a right hand turn signal if you're riding a bike. So practice this first. Swing your hand back, right hand turn signal. Swing it down to the ball and then try to swing your left hand up to a left hand turn signal. So what we have is an equal opposite movement. Right arm back to here, left arm up to here. Now we don't want to get the elbow up. Notice how I lifted it air. If I go back like this and I go up, I can't get the energy coming down. So when we swing up, you'll notice that my arm, it's not vertical to the ground. There's a little bit of an angle. This would be vertical. This would be up. This would be when it's relaxed in that shoulder socket. So you're trying to figure out how do you swing your arm up, get in that relaxed position here, not too far under, not too far up. Take your right hand, practice swinging it here, swing that down, and then you can take your left arm, swing it to the finish, and feel the same space and the same shape on both sides. Now take both hands, put it on the club. And what I want you to listen for is the whoosh. So I swing back here to the right hand turn signal, and then I shift a little bit, and then I swing the club past my body. You hear that air sound. That's when the face is actually squaring up to the air. As it squares up to the air, it creates more air sound or the whoosh sound. If I do it too late, like this, so over here, that ball's going to slice to the right. If I do it too early, that ball's going to hook, go to the left. So what I'm trying to do is to swing faster and get that really nice, long whoosh sound. Once you do that, all you're trying to do when you go to the ball is repeat the same sense of air sound and don't worry about where the ball goes. Get set up over the ball, focus on the whoosh, and if you do that, you're gonna hit a lot farther and more often, more solid. Now here's some of the best new drivers available at edwinwattsgolf.com or your local Edwin Watts store. This year we came out with the, the Speedline Fast 12 driver. Uh, this driver was one of the, the first times that we started incorporating aerodynamic technology in the sole as well as the crown. In our previous versions, we were concentrated mainly on the technology, the aerodynamic shaping of the crown. And we've kind of noticed that we were actually picking up a lot of drag on the sole now. So we've included some shaping on the sole as well too to help with the aerodynamic drag. And along with that is we're starting to optimize the CG and MOI properties of the head for an aerodynamic driver. You see some people will tout an aerodynamic driver, some people will tout high MOI. Well now we're starting to marry the two of them together into a super premium product. So in this product, for example, uh, what it does is the air actually creates friction between the club and the air itself. So we're actually breaking the air off of the product to create less drag. And really what that's doing is it's increasing head speed. So the USGA limits the, CO, the CT property of the face, meaning how spring-like the face is, but what they don't limit is how fast you can swing the product. So what we're trying to do is generate as much club head speed with the same amount of energy putting into the product. The great thing about Rocketball's drivers now is there is adjustability in the driver. You can change your loft now um, in Rocketballs, so you can move it a degree and a half. So a ten and a half degree driver, you can uh, adjust it depending on your launch conditions to a nine or to a 12 too. It's not overly complex, it's just, you know, one screw, pop it out, and then move the head in the direction that you want more loft or less loft, and you're ready to go. It's an extremely fast club. It's got a fast face. You know, the aerodynamics are really good on this driver, and if the specs work out without having to make, you know, monster adjustments, then it's going to perform. You know, we're not going to make a claim that everybody's going to get 18 yards. It's about ball speed. And 
with you know less drag on the head and you know fast faces, people are going to get excited about this driver. This is Ricky's driver. Again, advanced material placement. We do some sophisticated computer modeling to look at areas of low stress in the club head, and we thin those areas. It's highlighted in orange here to free up as much weight distribution as possible to increase the moment of inertia. We also have E9 face technology. And what we did is we looked at thousands of golf shots where golfers miss the club face the most, which tends to be down in the low heel up to the high toe in elliptical pattern. So we redesigned the whole club face around that to maximize ball speed on off-center hits. We also have dual roll technology. So all drivers have a roll radius from top to bottom. We increase the roll a little bit on the top and we flatten it out a little bit on the bottom. It creates higher launch with less spin, so longer distance on off-center shots. Coming up next on Golf Life, Dave Pels gives you a bunker tip, and we see some of the hottest new wedges for 2012. Please stay tuned. What is golf? Watts is golf. It's your game with our game improvements. It's your commitment to practice with our commitment to service. It's your fitting performance with our performance fittings. It's your memorable drives with our must-have drivers. It's your super saves with our super selection on the best products to improve your game. Shop Edwin Watts Golf, America's most trusted golf retailer. Stop by your local store or visit edwinwattsgolf.com. There's only one rangefinder that's rated number one in accuracy, Skycaddy. It's rated more accurate than lasers by three out of five golfers and rated more accurate than its GPS competition by margins up to 20 to one. If you're using anything other than a Skycaddy, you're throwing shots and money out the window. Log on to NewSkyCaddy.com right now to play better, play smarter, and have more fun, guaranteed, with the new wireless Skycaddy SGXW from SkyGolf. The new Polara XD and XDS self-correcting golf balls fly 50% straighter and just as long as the top-performing distance balls. It's an easier game now with the Polara golf ball. You can actually find your ball. There's a golf ball that actually goes straight. The enjoyment of the game is being able to get it near the fairway to where you can reach some greens in two. You can stay up with your partners. You're going to get a little success. That's what you need to make it more fun. And I just hit my regular old swing and it was going straight. I was waiting for my slice and it never came, so I took out one of my regular balls that I play and the slice was there. So the ball works. Honestly, the ball is very hard to get offline. That's going to help everyone out there that I can think of. Visit PoleraGolf.com to get a trial pack of the new XD and Ultimate Straight Golf Balls for only $12.95. Go long and straight with the Polara Golf Ball. Welcome back to Golf Life, brought to you by Edwin Watts Golf, America's most trusted golf retailer. All equipment featured in this program is available at Edwin Watts. So call us, stop by your local shop, or visit edwinwattsgolf.com. And by Skycaddy SGXW, the number one rangefinder in golf. Visit newskycaddy.com to learn how the Skycaddy SGXW can help save you strokes. Here's a golf tip brought to you by Dave Pell's Golf Schools. For great golf instruction, only trust the best by visiting pellsgolf.com. Here's a bunker tip from Dave. I know you might be afraid of the sand. A lot of amateurs are. If you're not, don't worry about it. But if you're afraid of this shot, it may get you in your major. So I want you to take a lesson, come to a school, do something to improve your sand technique. It's probably your technique it's, that's the problem because it's really not a hard shot. I want to show you something, give you a thought here. This is an L wedge. And if I hit this L wedge out of the grass, I put the ball in the center of my stance because I want to hit the ball first. I don't want to hit behind it. That's not a very difficult swing. And the ball went way too far for the shot, but that's okay. It was just a shot out of the grass. If I use the same swing in the sand, I don't want to change my swing and try to hit behind the ball, so I stand further back so the ball is forward in my stance. I can't lay the club in the sand normally. I have to lay it open so the bottom bounces off the sand. So what I do is I put the ball forward in my stance, I aim left, and I lay the glove wide open. Now I use the same swing as in the fairway. And for you to practice this, I want you to go to your backyard, get a little artificial grass turf so you don't take divots out of your yard, get some almost golf balls, 
because you don't break windows and, and dent cars. They, they're just made out of a kind of a cork material called almost golf. And get your wedge and a little bucket of sand. Now you start, get some target out there like a bucket or a basket. Put the ball in the center of your stance. Imagine I'm going to hit this ball out of grass. No, I'm in sand. So I have to move back so the ball's forward in my stance. I have to open my blade up so it's going to bounce out of the sand. I have to aim a little bit left and then I just make my normal swing like in grass. If you will do a little practice in your backyard, see the pro if you need to, get rid of the fear of the sand so that you can get out of it every time. Sometimes you'll make the putt, sometimes you won't, but get out of it every time. We're gonna win that major of yours. Now we learn more about some of the best wedges to help you improve your short game. This is the uh, new tailor-made ATV wedge. ATV stands for all-terrain versatility. And, and really what we were trying to tackle with this wedge was the problem that a lot of people have that are confused about is about bounce. You know, they always ask, what bounce should I play? And what we started saying is maybe we're asking the wrong question to ourselves. It's not what bounce you want to play, you want to play them all. So how do you design a wedge that has all of the bounces you need for all of the shots that you're going to try to take on? And that's what ATV is all about. So I'm going to take you through that. If you look at this club right now, you can see that there are a lot of different cuts in the golf club. And each one of them is designed to handle a specific shot. They have a leading edge here when you're hitting a chip. You want to take this leading edge and you're going <clears> to <throat> forward press the club. This leading edge will set lower into the chip and make it easier to hit your chip. And you can see that there's still bounce on the bottom of that edge. If I'm going to hit a fairway shot, I'm actually going to take this golf club and I'm going to use these two edges to hit the fairway shot. If I'm going to hit a bunker shot, I'm going to take this entire sole and use it like a wall. And I'm going to blast the sand out from underneath the ball. The other nice part about it is when you're in the rough now and you've relieved the sole and the toe, it actually goes through the, uh, the grass a lot easier. So we're trying to take one wedge and make it work for every shot that you have. So this is the new Trusty Rusty Wedge, new from Cobra Golf for 2012. Trusty Rusty's been around for a long time, but we brought it back and added a lot of modern technology. Still a tri-bounce design. So we have a high bounce uh, area in the center with less bounce in the heel and the toe for more versatility. The scallop in the back of the wedge helps us lower the leading edge height. So even though it's a high bounce for giving design, with that lower leading edge, we have a lot of versatility around the green. Trusty Rusty is available in three finishes, an all over rusted, a satin with pre-rusted score lines, and this black PVD that will rust over time. So the unplated carbon steel that rusts over time just gets softer and softer with better and better feel as, as it wears. So last year, we had a really good reception to our MP T11 wedges. What the T11 wedge was was a teardrop shape with a new conforming groove. This year, we're proud to introduce the R12 wedge. With the R12, what we did is we went back to kind of a more traditional round-shaped wedge, but we also kept the new groove. So this is conforming to the new groove rule. There's a couple cool things about this wedge. First off, obviously the R12, it is the R shape. What the R shape is, it, it refers to, it's a little bit taller from, on, from the face view, it's a little bit taller, and it's gonna have a little bit more roundness to the leading edge. So it looks like it scoops right under a ball a little bit easier than the T-Series. From all of our testing, we saw that when you get to the 50 to 54, that's almost like an 11 iron. It's more like a full shot club. It's not nearly as versatile as a 60, 64. And for a full shot, that narrow deep Group performs the best. But when you get into a high lofted wedge, one that you're opening up a lot, hitting a lot of glancing blows, that wider group performed better. So rather than pick one and put it on all our wedges, we decided we'd be really specific so that each wedge had its own individual purpose. All of these wedges can be found at edwinwattsgolf.com or your local Edwin Watts store. When Golf Life returns, we'll learn about a ball that self-corrects, even the worst slice and hook, so your ball lands in the fairway. Stay tuned. Any good golfer will tell you, improve your short game and you'll see your golf scores drop immediately. Visit hitgolf.com to get Building the Perfect Short Game, an easy-to-use DVD series teaching you every shot you need to score better. This two-DVD set will quickly teach you putting skills, proper chipping and pitching skills, bunker play, and specialty shots. Shot in high definition with top teacher Chuck Cook, this extensive series shows you all the shots you need to lower your scores. Learn to putt better with drills and games. Improve your chipping. Start hitting great bunker shots. 
Visit HitGolf.com to get this two-hour DVD series, and as a bonus, we'll send you the perfect golf swing DVD with simple drills to dramatically improve your ball striking and distance. Learn to play better golf and impress your golf buddies. Just go to HitGolf.com now for these great how-to videos. We show you all the shots you need to succeed around the greens. Visit HitGolf.com today and start dropping strokes right away. Sit tight. You're on the back nine with Golf Life in a moment. Welcome back to Golf Life, presented by Soft Spikes. Get superior traction for each golf swing with the new Cyclone Golf Cleat. Learn more at softspikes.com and buy the Polara Ultimate Straight Golf Ball. See how a self-correcting golf ball can help you enjoy golf from the fairway at poleragolf.com. Now we learn if a golf ball can help more people get hooked on the game of golf. As we all know, golf can be a hard game. There's a company out there that's looking to ensure that golf remains a recreational sport that everyone can enjoy. Polara Golf has created a ball with a patented dimple pattern that they say results in up to 75% reduction in hooks and slices with straighter drives. Polara Golf claims that their ball flies straighter than the competition, and independent testing company Golf Laboratories confirms their claims. What the Golf Labs robot proves is that the spin of the Polara ball results in a significantly straighter trajectory. Polara believe this can instantly improve your game, making golf very playable for everyone. When you hit the Polara golf ball, even though you might have a little side spin mixed with the back spin, typically it wouldn't give you a straight ball flight, but the dimple patterns on the Polara golf ball actually influence how the ball spins. What I see with the player ball is that you might see a little bit of that side spin influence, the ball might deviate a little bit, but then it self-corrects itself because of the dimple patterns are actually promoting more backspin than the side spin. This golf ball struck, even incorrectly, found fairways, kept them straighter. The PGA of America has a new initiative called Golf 2.0. The plan for Golf 2.0 is to ensure that kids everywhere are being introduced to the game of golf and that people that play golf stay with the game. The PGA of America says that in 2010, 4.6 million people gave up the game. Golf 2.0 teaches kids the fundamentals of the game and continues to engage those that have struggled to improve playing the game. Polera believes that their straight golf ball helps everyone to enjoy themselves on the golf course, making the game easier, thus assisting in making the goals of Golf 2.0 attainable. Well, one of the focuses that we have right now with the PGA of America is actually growing the game, having more people play the game of golf. So we're trying to come up with different ways that would allow us to bring in that market. And obviously making the game more fun and enjoyable is a huge part of having fun with the game. The enjoyment of the game is being able to get it near the fairway, maybe in the rough, to where you can reach some greens in two. You can stay up with your partners. You're going to get a little success. That's what you need to make it more fun. When I first came across the Polara golf ball, I immediately thought, as a PGA teaching professional and as a manager, general manager at a golf course, that it filled a niche, uh, an area in golf that had been missing a long time. Golf is not easy, and many people have left the game out of frustration. Quite possibly, Polara Golf's self-correcting technology could go a long way to make the game fun for old and new golfers alike. Polara believe the playability of the Polara Golf Ball and its technology can help to teach the game or to keep players coming back to the course. If something in golf doesn't happen soon, a lot of folks are going to quit because it is extremely hard. It's one of the hardest things a human body can ever do is strike a golf ball. If you want to go play a round of golf that's not tournament oriented and you just want to enjoy the game for what it offers, being outdoors, being with family, being with friends, having fun, enjoying the game, Polara Golf Ball is perfect for that. I've tried to spin the ball left, spin the ball to the right. It just wants to go straight. You know what? Let me grab a golf ball like the Polara Golf Ball that goes straight. Because chances are I'm going to probably enjoy the game a whole lot more rather than think I'm going to be confined into rules of playing the game rather than thinking, you know what? I'm going to go golfing and I'm going to use the Polara Golf Ball because it's going to be a whole lot more fun than if I think I have limitations or rules or guidelines or parameters. Golf is very frustrating at times. Uh, there are more people People leaving the game than there are joining the game or taking up the game and uh, Polara I think can help plug that hole they can actually keep golfers in the game we want as many golfers in golf and make it a clear point that we want people to enjoy this game if people are not enjoying the game they won't come out or they won't stay with the game 
We need to just make the game easier, more fun and enjoyable. Let's get a golf ball that goes straight like the player golf ball. And I guarantee you that the 2.0 program will go past three and four and five. If you would like to learn more about the Polara Golf Ball, visit polaragolf.com. When Golf Life returns, we'll take you on a tour of golf in Northern California as we visit some of the most beautiful courses anywhere. There's only one rangefinder that's rated number one in accuracy, Sky Caddy. It's rated more accurate than lasers by three out of five golfers and rated more accurate than its GPS competition by margins up to 20 to one. If you're using anything other than a Sky Caddy, you're throwing shots and money out the window. Log on to NewSkyCaddy.com right now to play better, play smarter, and have more fun, guaranteed, with the new wireless Sky Caddy SGXW from Sky Golf. What is golf? Watts is golf. It's your game with our game improvements. It's your commitment to practice with our commitment to service. It's your fitting performance with our performance fittings. It's your memorable drives with our must-have drivers. It's your super saves with our super selection on the best products to improve your game. Shop Edwin Watts Golf, America's most trusted golf retailer. Stop by your local store or visit edwinwattsgolf.com. The new Polara XD and XDS self-correcting golf balls fly 50% straighter and just as long as the top performing distance balls. It's an easier game now with the Polara golf ball. You can actually find your ball. There's a golf ball that actually goes straight. The enjoyment of the game is being able to get it near the fairway to where you can reach some greens in two. You can stay up with your partners. You're going to get a little success. That's what you need to make it more fun. And I just hit my regular old swing and it was going straight. I was waiting for my slice and it never came, so I took out one of my regular balls that I play and the slice was there. So the ball works. Honestly, the ball is very hard to get offline. That's going to help everyone out there that I can think of. Visit PoleraGolf.com to get a trial pack of the new XD and Ultimate Straight Golf Balls for only $12.95. Go long and straight with the Polara Golf Ball. Welcome back to Golf Life, brought to you by Sky Caddy SGXW, the number one range finder in golf. Visit NewSkyCaddy.com to learn how the Sky Caddy SGXW can help save you strokes. And by Edwin Watts Golf, America's most trusted golf retailer. All equipment you're about to see is available at Edwin Watts. So call us, stop by your local shop, or visit EdwinWattsGolf.com. Now let's tour some of the best golf courses in Northern California. To begin, we visit Santa Cruz and the magnificent Pasa Tiempo Golf Club. Designed by world famous golf architect, Alistair McKenzie, who is well known for designing Augusta National and Cypress Point, but Pasa Tiempo has always been his favorite. Pasa Tiempo is a semi-private golf course. However, the course sets aside certain tee times each day for the public. For generations, golfers like Bobby Jones, Ken Venturi, Julie Inkster, and Tiger Woods have been challenged by the greens. Pasa Tiempo has many beautiful views and truly delivers a memorable golf experience, rich golf history, and breathtaking scenery. It is truly one of the finest championship golf courses in the world, ranked number 11 in Golf Magazine's Top 100 Courses and number 30 in Golf Digest's 2011-2012 America's Greatest Public Courses. One of the best bargains in the nation is Pacific Grove. On the Monterey Peninsula, this ocean track is one of the best public golf courses in California. Pacific Grove has been dazzling golfers for over 75 years since it first opened in 1932. From many of the holes on the front nine, you can see the Monterey Bay. Cypress trees frame the fairways on the front nine. H. Chandler Egan designed the first nine holes in 1932. Jack Neville designed the back nine using the ocean as a backdrop. This Scottish-style Lynx course is situated at the tip of the scenic Monterey Peninsula, where it overlooks Point Pinos and the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Grove is an historic public 18-hole golf course, featuring breathtaking ocean views from every hole. 
Staying in Northern California, we next visit Lake Tahoe, where Edgewood Golf Course is gently nestled on the beautiful South Shore. Edgewood Golf Course is one of the most scenic golf courses in the world and the pinnacle of golf in Lake Tahoe. Edgewood Golf Course was designed by George Fazio and opened its doors in 1968. Edgewood is challenging yet fair, playing as long as 7,555 yards, providing a suitable test for golfers of all skill levels. Edgewood has great course layout with a mountain backdrop and a fantastic finish. The 16th hole par 5 heads right to the water through a tree framed fairway. Number 17 is an incredible par 3 over a big sand hazard with Lake Tahoe directly on your right. What a phenomenal finish to a great course. Finally, our tour of Northern California ends at Half Moon Bay with 36 of the most breathtaking holes you'll ever play. Found on the grounds of the Ritz-Carlton, this resort features first-class service and a first-class operation. The course is perched on an ocean bluff that overlooks an amazing stretch of the Pacific Ocean. The ocean course has views of the Pacific from almost every hole. The finishing three holes are simply spectacular. The 16th is a tricky par four and the first striking view of the landscape when you have your approach shot. Then 17 is a par 3, 186 yards, where you may need anywhere from a fairway wood to a short iron to reach the green. The ocean is to the left, so the much safer play is to the right. Then there's 18, simply amazing. The Pacific sits to your left while your tee shot must overcome a protected wildlife area. Take your time on these last three holes. They are an amazing golf experience. Thanks for watching Golf Life. If you'd like to have a chance to win our weekly golf prizes, like us on Facebook.com forward slash Golf Life. Or dig into our extensive mobile video library of golf tips at GolfinHD.com. You can also follow Golf in HD on Twitter. I'm Steve Lee. Look for Golf Life next week on this channel.